1. Which of the following electrolytes is primarily responsible for maintaining the resting membrane potential of cells? A. Calcium. B. Sodium. C. Potassium. D. Chloride. Answer, C. Potassium. Rationale. Potassium is the major intracellular cation. The resting membrane potential is maintained by the difference in concentration of potassium inside and outside of the cell. 2. A client presents with muscle twitching, hand tremors, and positive Chvostek sign. Which electrolyte imbalance is this indicative of? A. Hyperkalemia. B. Hypocalcemia. C. Hypercalcemia. D. Hypokalemia. Answer. B. Hypocalcemia. Rationale. These are classic signs of hypocalcemia. Schwastek sign is a facial twitch elicited when tapping the facial nerve in front of the ear. 3. Which organ primarily regulates fluid and electrolyte balance? A. Liver. B. Kidneys. C. Lungs. D. Heart. Answer, B. Kidneys. Rationale. The kidneys play a major role in regulating fluid and electrolyte balance by filtering the blood and forming urine. 4. A patient with hyperkalemia may display which of the following ECG changes? A. Peaked T waves. B. Prolonged PR interval. C. Widened QRS complex. D. All of the above. Answer, D. All of the above. Rationale. Hyperkalemia can affect the electrical activity of the heart, leading to these ECG changes. 5. Which of the following conditions is most likely to lead to dehydration? A. Heart failure. B. Kidney failure. C. Diabetes insipidus. D. Liver cirrhosis. Answer, C. Diabetes insipidus. Rationale. Diabetes insipidus is characterized by large volumes of dilute urine, which can lead to dehydration. 6. A patient has a sodium level of 150 milli equivalent per liter. This condition is known as A. Hyponatremia. B. Hypernatremia. C. Hypokalemia. D. Hyperkalemia. Answer, B, hypernatremia. Rationale. Normal serum sodium levels are typically between 135 to 145 milli equivalent per liter. A level of 150 milli equivalent per liter indicates hypernatremia. 7. Which of the following is a major intracellular cation? A, sodium. B, chloride. C, bicarbonate. D. Potassium. Answer, D. Potassium. Rationale. While sodium is the major extracellular cation, potassium is the primary intracellular cation. 8. Which of the following can cause hypokalemia? A. Excessive use of diuretics. B. Renal failure. C. Addison's disease. D. Hemolysis. Answer, A. Excessive use of diuretics. Rationale. Diuretics increase the excretion of potassium, which can lead to hypokalemia. 9. A patient with which of the following conditions is at risk for fluid volume overload? A. Diabetes mellitus. B. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. C. Renal failure. D. Hypothyroidism. Answer, C. Renal failure. Rationale. In renal failure, the kidneys can't effectively excrete fluid, potentially leading to fluid volume overload. 10. The nurse recognizes which of the following is a sign of fluid volume deficit. A. Tachycardia. B. Hypertension. C. Jugular vein distension. D. Crackles in lungs. Answer, A. Tachycardia. Rationale. Tachycardia is a compensatory mechanism in response to decreased circulating volume seen in fluid volume deficit. 
11. Which of the following can cause respiratory alkalosis? A. Vomiting. B. Diabetic ketoacidosis. C. Hyperventilation. D. Renal failure. Answer, C. Hyperventilation. Rationale. Hyperventilation leads to a decrease in carbon dioxide levels, causing a rise in pH, which results in respiratory alkalosis. 12. Which fluid is administered to treat hypovolemic shock? A. Dextrose 5% in water, D5W. B. Normal saline, 0.9% sodium chloride. C. Half normal saline, 0.45% sodium chloride. D. Lactated ringers. Answer, B. Normal saline, 0.9% sodium chloride. Rationale, normal saline is an isotonic solution that replaces extracellular fluid, making it suitable for treating hypovolemic shock. 13. Which of the following conditions can lead to hyponatremia? A. Excessive sweating. B. Use of corticosteroids. C. Syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone, SIADH. D. Hyperaldosteronism. Answer, C. Syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone, SIADH. Rationale. SIADH leads to water retention, diluting the concentration of sodium in the blood, resulting in hyponatremia. 14. A client with burns covering 20% of their body is at risk for which electrolyte imbalance? A. Hyperkalemia. B. Hypokalemia. C. Hypernatremia. D. Hypocalcemia. Answer, A. Hyperkalemia. Rationale. Burns can lead to cell destruction, releasing intracellular potassium into the bloodstream, causing hyperkalemia. 15. Which of the following symptoms is most indicative of hypercalcemia? A. Muscle tremors. B. Prolonged QT interval. C. Bone pain. D. Bradycardia. Answer, C. Bone pain. Rationale. Excess calcium can lead to bone resorption, resulting in bone pain. 16. A patient with chronic alcoholism is at risk for which electrolyte imbalance? A. Hyponatremia. B. Hypomagnesemia. C. Hyperkalemia. D. Hyperphosphatemia. Answer, B. Hypomagnesemia. Rationale. Chronic alcohol use can decrease the absorption of magnesium in the intestines, leading to hypomagnesemia. 17. Which of the following lab values indicates hypochloremia? A. Chloride level of 108 milliequivalent per liter. B. Chloride level of 95 milliequivalent per liter. C. Chloride level of 102 milliequivalent per liter. D. Chloride level of 99 milliequivalent per liter. Answer, B. Chloride level of 95 milliequivalent per liter. Rationale, normal serum chloride levels are typically between 96 to 106 milliequivalent per liter. A value below this range indicates hypochloremia. 18. The nurse knows that which condition can lead to metabolic acidosis. A. Prolonged vomiting. B. Diabetic ketoacidosis. C. Use of diuretics. D. Hyperventilation. Answer, B. Diabetic ketoacidosis. Rationale. In diabetic ketoacidosis, the body produces excess ketones, which are acidic, leading to metabolic acidosis. 19. The main buffer system of the body is A. Phosphate buffer system. B. Protein buffer system. C. Carbonic acid bicarbonate buffer system. D. Potassium-sodium buffer system. Answer, C. Carbonic acid bicarbonate buffer system. Rationale, the carbonic acid bicarbonate buffer system is the primary regulator of the body's acid-base balance. 20. 
Which of the following is a common cause of hypophosphatemia? A. Chronic alcoholism. B. Renal failure. C. Bone tumors. D. Excessive intake of antacids. Answer, A. Chronic alcoholism. Rationale. Chronic alcoholism can interfere with the absorption of phosphate, leading to hypophosphatemia. 21. The nurse is reviewing lab results and notes a potassium level of 2.8 milliequivalent per liter. The nurse should prepare for potential interventions related to which of the following conditions? A. Hyperkalemia. B. Hyponatremia. C. Hypokalemia. D. Hypercalcemia. Answer, C. Hypokalemia. Rationale. Normal serum potassium levels range from 3.5 to 5.0 milliequivalent per liter. A level of 2.8 milliequivalent per liter indicates hypokalemia. 22. A patient with which of the following conditions is at greatest risk for developing hypermagnesemia? A. Prolonged diarrhea. B. Chronic alcoholism. C. Renal failure. D. Diabetic ketoacidosis. Answer, C. Renal failure. Rationale. In renal failure, the kidneys are unable to excrete magnesium efficiently, increasing the risk for hypermagnesemia. 23. Which of the following is not a sign of fluid volume excess? A. Weight gain. B. Increased urine output. C. Edema. D. Neck vein distension. Answer, B. Increased urine output. Rationale. Fluid volume excess typically leads to decreased urine output due to the body's attempt to retain fluid. 24. A nurse is preparing to administer an four fluid that has a higher osmolarity than blood plasma. This type of solution is referred to as a. Hypotonic. B. Isotonic. C. Hypertonic. D. Equitonic. Answer. C. Hypertonic. Rationale. Hypertonic solutions have a higher osmolarity compared to blood plasma and can lead to cellular dehydration. 25. Which of the following is a clinical manifestation of hyperphosphatemia? A. Tremors. B. Flaccid paralysis. C. Paresthesia around the mouth. D. Constipation. Answer. C. Paresthesia around the mouth. Rationale. Hyperphosphatemia can decrease calcium levels, leading to symptoms like paresthesia around the mouth, hands, and feet. Visit nursestudy.net for more nursing practice exams, care plans, and study guides.